10 things I wish I knew before becoming the airline pilot. Let's go. Today we're flying to Orlando with one of my favorite captains. And that brings me to the first point of the 10 things I wish I knew before becoming an airline pilot. And that is the destination is not always the key to have a great layover. It's more or less the crew, just like with your best friends. You can go wherever you want to, but you're gonna have a freaking great time. And that corresponds to the crew life as well. That's why I choose that flight with that captain, because I know that I'm gonna have a great time. Okay, car turn on turn off again and always keep that in mind the destination is not always the key to have a great time We meet three pilots in the cockpit today. We've got two deadhead pilots with us because we've got an aircraft in Orlando which needs to be flown home at our home base Frankfurt so they're gonna do that that's why we've got basically five pilots on board today a lot of them and we've got eight cabin crew members we're gonna have 67 tons of fuel routing is pretty basic straight over the atlantic to florida and um flight time will be approximately nine hours and 30 minutes speaking of times number two don't wash everything too much it is so important you're gonna end up on that 747 a350 gonna fly those thousand passengers around the world but do not forget to enjoy all those little things on on the way to getting at your destination. It is so crucial because at some points, even me in my flight school, I had that goal in my mind and I just forgot how incredible, thankful I should be for that moment I'm enjoying right now. Because flight school will be one of the best freaking times of your life. So make sure to enjoy each chapter basically in your own book. It is really important. So the flight was pretty smooth today, no biggie right there, we had a 9 hour and 30 minutes flight time, we went straight over the Atlantic like we're flying in Punta Cana for example, and we uh, had to circumnavigate, oh the AC just turned on, oh, it's not too loud, we had to circumnavigate the hurricane Dawn, that's its name, and it's basically it was at 50 west, so we had to circumnavigate that a bit. Then we had some uh, thunderstorms here in Orlando, but they were all gone at the time that we arrived Orlando, so that was all fine as well. So flight time, like I said, 9 hours and 35 minutes. But that brings me to the time of the day, because I got up this morning at 10 a.m. in the morning, and now it's nearly half past 2 in the morning in Germany. So I've been awake since 14 and a half hours. And that brings me to the third topic of the day, Long flying days can be so exhausting for your body. Rather you fly a short haul like five legs a day, that can take up 12 hours as well. And those long, um, long haul flights, which take up to 14, 15 hours days, and that can be so tearing on your body. But what I like to think about when I'm having those long days is just the, the marvelous moments you get when flying in aviation. And that brings me to the fourth point on the list, how rewarding that job can be. If it's the beautiful sunrise over the Atlantic, the beautiful sunsets in Namibia, the beautiful winter alps during winter time in Europe over Austria, Switzerland, you name it. The beautiful dinner with the crew wherever you are at the moment and those times that's the point where you make memories for a lifetime but now it's damn late I gotta go to bed I'm so tired long day so it's time to get some rest good night people good morning there 
It's yeah, five past two in Germany, uh, and it's five past eight a.m. in the morning here. It's 31 degrees outside. It's a Sunday. It's time for number five on the list. And that is cost of becoming a pilot and holding a license or typewriting later on. So, sorry, nearly got run over there. So uh, in Germany, the basic flying cost is 80,000 to 100,000, right about there. If you're lucky and you've got wealthy parents, well, maybe they're gonna pay for it. But at 99% of the cases, that's not the thing. So to keep that back in your head, that the cost to basically getting the license, first of all, is really, really high. And then you've got not only the, the license cost, but you also have got the living cost during your education. So basically, oh, that's bright. Uh, so basically um, living when I lived in Vero Beach and in, in Rostock and wherever I was during my education, that rounded up to another 15 to 20K and that's a lot of money. And then we're not talking even about when you're holding a license and you're not finding a job directly. So that's why I would say you have to make sure that being a pilot is your passion. Because when you're holding a license, you may be working as a dishwasher first because you can't find a job. And I think if um, being a pilot is not your passion at that moment while you may be washing dishes or you're working at a gas station or in service somewhere, I don't know. And if being a pilot is not your passion at that moment, you're gonna start to regret things really, really fast because you invested a lot, a lot of money and you don't get the return instantly. So I would say, make sure it's a passion, dot, point. Next one. America everyone the number six of the things I wish I knew before becoming an airline pilot and that is how difficult it is to stay fit and healthy on layovers or on the run you got to make it a priority flying long haul is a toll on your body anyways it messes with your circadian rhythm a lot so it's really important to do physical workouts a really important thing as well is instead of eating all the, the airplane meals all the time Go and try prep meals, take a bit more healthy food with you, eat vegetables instead of the chips all the time, the chocolate. Just be a bit more conscious about what you eat and what you put in your body and do a bit more sports. And that basically helps. Then there's tip number seven. You gotta get used to fly tests or being examined and uh, being tested. Especially when your goal is to start an airline or be, be the whole of a type rating. Having a bit of anxiety is totally normal. We all have it. I still have it on my own. Because a bit of test anxiety basically raises your um, performance levels. So that's always good. But you really, really got to get used to being tested. For a little example, when I was in flight school, in the theory phase, we had a check every four weeks a written exam so that they can check if we are at the level they want us to be. Not even talking about the examinations we had to do to get our license, the LBA, the flight examination, the flight test all over the flight school. And then um, not even talking about the, when you're at an airline and you the hold over type rating, you have to do at least I think, one check a year to keep the type rating. But in airline you've got also the operator checks. So I'm going in the simulator every six months and being checked or tested there. And then I've got a line check as well, which is coming up next month in my case. And that's basically where a training captain sits in the back of us or behind us. We've got a normal captain and me, and we're basically doing a normal line flight with passengers and he checks procedural knowledge and everything. So basically I'm getting tested three times a year, flying wise, one times a year, medical wise, and the flight school, yeah, bunch of, a bunch of tests. But the good thing I can promise you, it gets better when you've done your first tests. Now I've got four hours of the layover left. It was a pretty fast one, 24 hours. So I'm gonna crash there at the bed, at the bed, in the bed, have two hours of nap, and then, uh, yeah, get dressed. Give you some more insights of the things I wish I knew. And yeah, see you then. Good night. Second night. Good night. Number eight of uh, things I wish I knew is the cool thing. It's definitely one of the benefits. You are wearing a uniform, which makes your life so, so much easier. Basically, you get up at 3 a.m. in the morning and you never, ever have to think about what to wear. You just put on that uniform and you always look kind of fresh, at least sometimes. <laughs> and um, so I would say that's definitely a benefit. But the downside of wearing a uniform, we in Florida. It's 
35 degree degree degrees so in those fabrics you're gonna get quite sweaty so that's the downside for the uniform but also an upside for the uniform but now we're gonna go flying back to the table up with the camera so that looks good so flight time today eight hours 90 minutes we came here with nine hours 30 minutes or so one hour and ten minutes less because we're flying a bit up north this time Last, when we came here, we crossed the Atlantic basically like a Punta Cana flight. But today we're going up north along the east coast of North America. And then over at Canada, we're going to join NUT HLA airspace and cross the airway uniform all the way to Europe. Because they have strong winds today. Well, not that strong like in winter time, but it's still 60 knots tailwind. So it pushes the aircraft basically. And um, weather-wise, the thunderstorms just went through Orlando. So we all set here. We've got a bit of thunderstorms going up uh, to North Florida. And then the East Coast is pretty clear. Atlantic is clear. Cool thing to see is the hurricane I talked about when we came here, Don. He moved up with us now. So <laughs> not only we are flying back there, uh, up there now, he's there as well. So um, maybe we're gonna see it today. I don't know. It's south of us this time, last time it was north of us. And other than that, Frankfurt weather, a bit of thunderstorms forecasted, but two hours behind our uh, planned arrival, so that should be fine as well. So no biggie there with the flight today. We've got 57 tons of fuel planned, still three pilots. And um, when I'm home, I've got three off days. And after those three off days, I've got standby. And that brings me to the thing number nine on the list. So we're nearly finishing the list off here which is the schedule is your life. And I wasn't really aware of it when I started out, especially when you're working for an airline or everything, because we're getting our schedule for the next month at latest at the 27th of the current month. So on the 27th of June, I'm getting the schedule for July. So when you want to make a doctor's appointment three months in advance, that's not that simple because you do not know if you've got off on that specific day. So yes, we have a request system so I can request flights, I can request fly together. So with colleagues, I can uh, put my off days in, in there. But the thing is, I can't put three off days there, three off days there and three off days there. I have only three off days a month, a month which I can request. So once I want to show up on a birthday and I've got a doctor's appointment in one month and they're not in, in and they're not in, in Gosh. and they're not in between three days, that's not gonna be simple and you probably won't make one of them. So it is really, really important to know that the airline basically plans your life and you gotta plan your private life around it. Sometimes you're gonna miss out on birthday, you're gonna miss out on wedding, like uh, in the previous video, like I told you. So that's not always that easy, but I would say if you request smart, it's working out most of the times. And now it's time to go fly. Flight is over. I'm gonna make that straight a bit here. Flight is over. We took us around eight hours and 90 minutes. I was pilot flying and uh, captain was pilot monitoring. Did an ILS on the runway 25 left here in Frankfurt. Routing was as expected, as I told you in uh, Orlando. We had barely no weather. The jet stream was smooth, which was really cool because we had just instead of plus 60 the whole flight, we had around plus 80. So flight time was really short. Uh, I'm over now. <laughs> I'm so tired, I'm gonna drive home now. Finally back home, took a huge nap. But one more thing, the tent 
thing of things I wish I knew before becoming an airline pilot and that is love the job, not the airline. With that said everyone, peace, see you in the next one.